Welcome back Woo-hoo! to the 128 KB podcast. We are back once again. Due to lack of popular demand. I really like the fact that that's a, a, a two-person catchphrase. It now. is. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. It was just a setup to watch you trip up. Because <laughs> now you're like, it. now you're like ready for it. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm waiting, <laughs> practicing in my head. <laughs> yeah. Due to lack of popular demand. Uh, this is your weekly dose of all things gaming with Indeed. two morning gamers. Oh. It's a sad day. Not necessarily that we're uh, playing in the mornings. <laughs> more, more that it's sad. It's a sad time. It is, you know, if you've seen yeah. the title, you already yeah. know what's happening. But let's just play the game of suspense a little bit longer. It's bad. Yes. <laughs> is it bad? Yeah. Um, yeah. On the topic of catchphrases. Oh, yeah, yeah. Segways. Yeah, yeah. I need a decent catchphrase for the news channel. <laughs> I thought it was official. What's it? I keep saying it's official. It's hurrah, isn't it? <laughs> isn't that it? It's happened twice now. Hurrah. <laughs> or as you were edit it to. <laughs> just slow it down. It's great. Hurrah. <laughs> what do I say? This is uh, where we catch up in the week of the gaming in this short news like video. That's it. That's it. <laughs> My favorite part by Million Mars of doing the news videos. Yeah is my tenuous links that I put between. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. It's like, so speaking of this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's every like, time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, my favorite one last week was uh, speaking of dead dodos. Yes. Introducing uh, the PlayStation. <laughs> yes, I enjoyed that as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah it's, it's good. good. I have no idea what I'm going to say until I open my mouth. Mm, which mm. I gather is actually 99% of the videos you make too. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Even when I think I know what I'm going to say, I still can't trust my mouth to say it. <laughs> just, just words. <laughs> my mouth just has a mind of its own. Yeah. I can't pronounce anything. It just falls out. <laughs> <laughs> that excuse will get you into a lot of trouble in different ways yes. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So how's your week in gaming been, Andy? Yeah. Yeah, I mean... Most of this podcast is going to be about that. It's been <laughs> so, a big week. Okay. So I want to ask you, how's your week in gaming been? It's been a quiet week in gaming, actually. Just, you know, just oh. chilling. Um, still contemplating the, my life choices. Mm, still hovering over the buy now on the PlayStation 5 Pro. No, no, I'm not that rich. Um, <laughs> okay, on eBay then for the 30th edition. That's it. Yeah, yeah. I, I fancy spending 20 four grand. grand. <laughs> I saw a post earlier on Twitter of someone sharing it. It was $20,000 that someone put one up for. <laughs> why? Why? 20 grand? Are you having a laugh? But I guess if you've got one, like, why not? Why not try? See what happens. Some yeah. idiot might buy it. Yeah. And then you've made 20 grand. Just put it up at 100, go and make it. Make yeah, it yeah. Can I get he- Wait, grab some headlines? Yeah, yes, yes. Or best offer. Yes. Yeah, five grand. <laughs> <laughs> Sold. No, I'm I'm contemplating my life choices and questioning what kind of human I actually am. Wow. This is deep. And I'm hovering over a button on a certain website. Oh, wow. Mm. No, not that kind of website, Adrian. We've talked about that. Oh, but I'm not allowed to talk about that? No. Oh, okay. It's a, it's a website where they sell like cooking ware, like okay. only pans. Is it, uh, <laughs> is it Nigella's website? Nigella's, <laughs> Nigella's subscription service, <laughs> only pans. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I'm hovering over a cancel order button. Oh, because I I still oh no I don't know if I've done the right thing. Oh, what on the thirtieth portal? Yes. Oh man, I think you should keep it. I I feel like I've it's a thirtieth edition. I know, but I feel like a hypocrite. <laughs> <laughs> I think you at least got to test it, and instead of cancel it, just sell it for three times more on on eBay. <laughs> That's true. I've become solid. part of the problem. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Moan about the problem, become part of the problem. Exactly, yeah. They are selling for like £400 on selling. eBay. Can't beat them, join them. <laughs> That's true, yeah. I think the only thing I really want about it is the box. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. seems ridiculous. Keep the box, sell the thing. <laughs> Unboxed. Yes. Oh, like interesting. It. Yeah, I know. It could know. look good on the set, though, to be fair. You it's could suspend the portal f- from In a portal? Top. Yeah, in, in a portal, yeah. Could I get, like, the weapon from portal... You could and then the portal like, gun, yeah. get like a weird portal made and yes. put the portal in the portal. So portal's yes. making a portal with a portal yes. in it. I think that's what it should be. Portal meta. <laughs> I still think you should get some little chains and suspend it above the, the PlayStation. I was going to say that would be a really expensive, unnecessary addition to the set. And then I turned around and looked, <laughs> looked at and the set. considered what I've spent on stuff. <laughs> that's that's part of the set. There. None of it's plugged in. 
<laughs> I did used to. Yeah, okay, you did, for to those who are wondering. To be fair to you, you did. It yeah. was really cool, wasn't it? Was, it was, yeah. I did used to have, this was on its side and I had a TV on top of it. Yes. And I had them all hooked through a HDMI like mm. switcher. Yeah, so you, have you seen the headlines recently of that that guy in like Saudi Arabia that um, managed to hook up something like 500 consoles to one HDMI port? Wow. You were the current world record I, I was, holder before yeah, I had he the, did it? Yeah, I had the record yeah. before. I, yeah. I don't know what that is. 12. Yeah. Um, is there 12 consoles? I don't think there are. It might be 11, 10. I can't count. But uh, I had, yeah, I had them all hooked <laughs> up and it was kind of cool. Um and then inevitably, when you have something really complicated wired up like that, mm. one thing stops working and, and then it all goes yeah. to hell. And then you never know what it is because no, there's too many cables. You didn't label yeah. anything. Yeah, yeah. They're bundled yeah. together. Yeah. I think it was at the time I wanted to start streaming some retro games. Mm. And uh, it's really annoying. Some of the consoles, some of the more modern ones, won't let you go into a capture card through a switcher. Yes. The, the DCMA blocking happens. Yeah. Whatever it's called. Is it DCMA? No. Um, DCHP. Oh, yes. Ugh, so annoying. Yes. Uh, so then I had to like frantically pull things. Out. Oh, that was a good movement you did there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so my days in Berlin. Um, <laughs> I was gaming in the mornings. That's morning gaming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so... When it came to building this set for the podcast, I was like, do you know what? It, and I, I guess the other thing is when we're making videos about gaming, you couldn't actually see any of that stuff. Yes, I was like, It's kind of a, I'd like it to be like in part the shot. of it. In yeah, the yeah, shot. yeah, 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 yeah. So do you know what? There you go. There we go. Yeah. There you go. It's there. I like it. Yeah. Do you know, there is a dark part for me and I talk about this to you privately every so often. Yeah. And that's the website. No, um... <laughs> And there is a channel member, Tempurious, mm -hmm. who keeps, and I love you for this because I did ask you to do it, keeps hassling me about it. Oh, about streaming. About streaming. Yeah, I know. And there's a do. dark part of me that I'm like, oh, I really, I don't know why. Yes. Because I've done it and it's hard. Yeah, yeah. And it's stressful. Yeah. Yeah. And it's always things breaking. It's never yeah. quite right. And you do it and like three people turn up and you've spent yeah. three hours sat there for like four <laughs> people to watch the thing. Yeah. It's kind of pointless, but it's also, I can't help but want to do it. Yes. Still. Yeah. I miss doing it myself, you know, but at the same time, it's so much effort and it's so draining. It's do, really do you know what I mean? Like It's yeah, really, yeah. really draining. Yeah. And yeah. So I totally understand that predicament where you want to do it, but at the same time, you really don't. I Like this part of me is like, it would be a really lovely thing as part of the 128 KB family. Mm. It's like, mm. oh, come and hang out while we play some games together mm. and stuff. Or like I'll play some games and that'd be cool. Uh, so I just keep going through this like emotional cycle of it of like mm. oh that'd be really cool to do and be nice if some of the subscribers and members came and hung out and maybe in the background while they're at work or whatever and then I remember how hard it is and then mm -hmm. I'm put off again uh, yeah. and I'm back to the start now of going huh, mm. maybe, maybe. Uh, I think it's because Jamie texted me the other day as well the Tempurus who is he's the uh, mod yes. in the discord yes, right the indeed. Is. channel members discord He's like, so when's this going to happen? <laughs> like, oh, I feel bad now when you're messaging me. <laughs> <laughs> what you want to do is just fake it. So just film like a few hours of you playing and then put it on loop. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were giving me a sensible idea for a oh, second. Oh, was, yeah. That I was just it. absorbing it. It's like, yeah. yeah so okay. at the beginning of the video, you just say, sorry, chat, I'm not going to be replying today because I really want to focus on this. Really want to focus on yeah. yeah. And yeah. then just put it on loop and it was the, actually that <laughs> that's what made me stop streaming yeah no, it was rebirth you, yeah you can't focus you've got to play something that you bingo card oh yeah final fantasy 7 rebirth yes but yeah yeah I, I was like i really want to focus in and you can't because you feel weirdly you feel guilty for concentrating on the game yes and not and right to people yeah, yeah. Or, or just not even narrating yes Do you know what i mean when you just yeah. want to like focus in yes you have this like when you make a video normally if you're on your own there's moments of like quiet where you just think about what you're going to say yes and then you say it or you might fudge up a little bit and you all those little bits get cut out and you get slammed yeah. together to this kind of fast-paced thing that's kind of enjoyable to watch in a podcast mm. those brain silences are filled by the other person talking. yes yeah yeah exactly so it's yeah. really easy yes and comfortable yeah yeah when you're live yes. on your own yes 
it's incredibly hard and yeah. draining just to that's, keep narrating. That's why I think it's draining because mm. I can verbal diarrhea for hours. Yeah. But after about three hours, I'm done. Yeah. And definitely. I'm like, right. <laughs> that's me. I can't be bothered anymore. Like, you yeah, know, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm drained here. Like, I need to go lay down or something. <laughs> yeah. And then you don't appreciate the game. So if you're playing a new game, you're not taking, you're it not in. taking any of it in. So, like, that's why I used to, uh, replay old stuff yeah because i was like i know these games anyway do you know what i mean and i don't need to think about the mechanics i don't need to think about the story and care i can sort of relax into it a bit more yeah and it wasn't so stressful i think know? that's why people do so, so many people do multiplayer games yes absolutely that because there's no nothing to think about exactly yeah. you're just playing the game yeah yeah exactly yeah so i don't know i don't know mm. it's gonna it's gonna haunt me forever that thing i think yes yeah i think it is i i've I don't know. I think I've managed to put the streaming stuff. You're at peace with it, aren't you? Uh, yeah, I think I'm at peace with it because mm. I prefer making videos yeah. than streaming because yeah. streaming was such effort. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? For yeah. little gain. And whereas, but, like, the joy I see from people commenting and stuff on yeah. a proper video, I, I think I'd just prefer it. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe I should just make more videos. Yes. I should just make more videos. So yeah. Get a PS5 Pro, make more videos. Why am I getting a PS5 Pro? I don't know. <laughs> why is that part of it i don't know it is get a ps5 pro that's because you want to live vicariously <laughs> through me isn't it i want you to have one so i can play on it <laughs> fair enough <laughs> yeah um maybe we should buy one together and have joint custody yes oh i like that yeah finally put those rumors to work <laughs> are you married <laughs> I like it. No, we're separated. Yes. Joint custody of a PS5 yeah, Pro. The PS5. You can keep the dog. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should just make more videos. I think so, yeah. Maybe that will scratch that itch. Yes. I don't think it will. Mm. I, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Might do. Yeah, it's difficult. It is. But I could definitely make more videos. I don't know why I'm talking to you guys about this. This is like the inner workings <laughs> of what... This is how we discuss things. It is, yeah. This is normally what we do on a Friday morning. Yeah, it's true. Uh, so, yeah, quiet week in gaming. Um, mm. Thanks for asking. Yeah, good. <laughs> <laughs> I played a bit of Hi-Fi Rush. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, good. I'm really deep into that game now. I think I'm pretty close to the end. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm still relatively at the beginning. I've lost a bit of momentum, though. Yeah. And there's been a big gaps in between, so you forget all the mechanics, mm. and that's kind of a bit annoying. Mm, although there is areas in which you can go and like there's like tutorial sections okay. you can go into like oh, in the game right right okay you can go and like test moves and yeah, stuff yeah 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 yeah. Uh, but yeah it, it's I see why so many people loved it it's just a fun game it's yeah. great fun yeah I really liked it Like, and, and again I've only played a few hours of it but mm. I've really enjoyed what I've played so far one thing I will say about Hi-Fi Rush you can't play it on the train <laughs> why is that? because it's a rhythm game oh yeah yeah, okay, fair enough. I didn't have any headphones. Oh, yeah, It's when terrible. I was coming back from yours last. On oh. the I was on the train back from yours. Yes. And I brought, brought the Alley X with yes, me. I was like, yeah, yeah. oh, sweet, I've got like an hour train ride. Yes. Just whip the Alley X out and play some Hi-Fi yeah, Rush. Perfect. But it's obviously it's like quite a quiet carriage. Oh. I'm like, Ugh. I'll just turn the volume right You're down. You're in the silent, like, the library carriage. No, I, yeah. I didn't mean to be, but I, <laughs> everyone was really quiet. And I, oh. and also I've got that inner, like, inbuilt, like, I don't want to make too much noise with yeah, people yeah. around me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you whacked it on full volume. So I put it on full volume <laughs> and was playing out the actions on the carriage. Yeah. <laughs> Punching people in yeah, time. Yeah, I thought it was an actual rhythm game. <laughs> I even tried putting, there's uh, like a, a UI meter you can put the bottom that shows you the rhythm. Oh, really? So that without headphones you can do it? Yeah, it, okay. but it's it's really difficult because then you're looking at that and looking yeah, at Yeah, not it. actually looking at what you're doing. It's yeah. like subtitling it. Mm. Yeah, it's not as good. Uh, so yeah, you can't play it in quiet places, mm. which kind of makes sense because it is a, yeah. action ba game based on yeah rhythm. yeah probably a poor <laughs> choice of game there for the train journey it was yeah i could, <laughs> should have played something else really shouldn't i yeah no yeah, well do you think asus are ever going to ask for this ally x back i don't know they still haven't yet no i would say just don't mention it i should stop bringing it up really, yeah shouldn't that's, I? that's it yeah yeah, just yeah. Stop talking about it if i keep the ally x yes should i not have a portal wow that's a question because is the Ally X one and done? Pretty much. Isn't it? Because you can you can stream your PlayStation onto your Ally X and the mm -hmm. Ally X has got Wi-Fi 6E, whereas the portal's got Wi-Fi 5. Yeah. That's actually a really interesting question. Is the Ally X like the perfect companion to other consoles as well? Yeah. 
Yeah, because you can stream your Xbox to it. Yeah. You can stream your PlayStation to it. You can illegally rip off your Nintendo Switch ROMs and play it on it. Just be using <laughs> Switch, yeah, that's great. <laughs> you can uh, <laughs> you can play PC games on it. You can emulate older titles on it. You can... I've not seen any. I, I imagine it's really good, but I've not seen any emulation on it yet. Have you not? No. Oh, yeah. I've not, to be fair, I've not looked. I haven't even crossed Retro my mind. Retro Game Corpse that you brought up in the previous podcast, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's a big, a big advocate for it. On the LIX? Yeah, yeah, because wow. he does loads of retro guides and stuff, uh, like emulation guides and so stuff. So I actually imagine if you could get, um, like, disc images of, like, PS3, you know, Xbox Absolutely. 360 games and stuff, yeah. it would run it, yeah, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Which you don't tend to see a lot. No. Because, no. obviously, most emulators are quite low-powered uh, Android devices yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, they normally struggle to run PS3 and yeah, yeah. Xbox, yeah. You don't tend to get above PS2. No. And the other problem is those games are so much bigger. And the other problem is, is the emulators themselves, the actual like software just isn't there. Yeah. You know, true. way more work's gone into the the emulators for the older systems. Just because it's been around longer. Yeah. But but it's totally <laughs> doable. But again, I'm pretty sure Retro Game Corps have uh, done videos on the mm. Ally X on running those types of games to show that it's possible. So you're suggesting that the Ally X could replace everything? Pretty much, yeah, I think so. Could it get rid of my Xbox and PlayStation, do you think, and I'd be happy? It's tough. I'll say this. Since yeah. I've had this one on loan from Asus, yeah. I've barely turned on the PlayStation and Xbox. I know. Yeah, I know what you mean. That's that's pretty much the reason I got rid of my PS5. <laughs> no, I can, I can understand it. It's uh, it's just so much easier. It is, isn't it? And and that's the thing. is I, I know most of the PlayStation games are on steam but mm. like the big hitters you know god of war spider-man like that kind of stuff you know you've got ghosts of satsuma on there now bingo uh that's good well we've done we've got um other stuff like we just had god of war ragnarok come yeah over to it yeah yeah uh there's there's plenty of stuff on there even like last of us is on there is it <laughs> is it really yeah it's on steam uh, that seems mental yeah so the, and the new the horizon whatever it is remake Zero Dawn. Zero Dawn's the remake they've just announced. Yeah, both of them. And Forbidden West yeah. is already out. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so, you know, there's plenty of PlayStation stuff. Yeah. Which is the reason why I went, you know what? I don't need my PS5 because I never turn it on. But, I guess there's, there's a, yeah. But you haven't got any of the, like, brand new launches. I was just going to say, there's yeah. a few games that you're missing, really, yes. isn't there? Uh, Stellar Blade you're missing. Oh. Um, don't get me started. <laughs> Fo Stellar Blade photo mode. Oh yeah, you're yeah, missing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What else is there? The new Ghost game that will be coming out. You'll be yeah. missing. Yeah. Uh, Astrobot. Yes, that's another thing. I guess there's only two games that you're probably missing then: yeah. Astrobot and Stellar Blade. Yeah. And it, uh, that was one of the main reasons that made me push to sell the PlayStation Five. Yeah. Was because I was like, well, the people behind Stellar Blade said, you know, we are going to be doing PC, and sooner rather than later. Yeah, whatever they happen. said, and Astrobots are um, the same. Yeah, we have potentially. So, well, I know Stellar Blade definitely said, like, hinting at like yeah. maybe this year, yeah. maybe sooner. So yeah. in the near future, yeah, that was it? it. In the near future. So I was like, right, that's it. If it's coming to PC, I'll just you know get rid of my PlayStation now. We got loads it. of um, pushback when we said about Astrobot coming yeah. to PC. Yeah, it was really funny. Yeah. There was some like real kind of like, no, I don't think. I think you're kind of delusional there yeah. which is fair we're quite often delusional we are delusional especially yeah. when we're going to fantasy land about like xbox handhelds and little and billy yeah. <laughs> oh little billy there were some good suggestions for his mum's name by the yeah. way is little billy on the bingo card no but uh, i think it should be yeah jamie add little billy to the bingo card <laughs> I don't know what this bingo card is yet or I why. I know I promised I'd do some giveaways or yes, something. Yeah. I will some get round to it. Yeah. This show isn't ending anytime soon. No. So just hold on. We might get cancelled. You know. Could It's possible. <laughs> yeah, it's possible. <laughs> Especially if you keep ripping off Nintendo games. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and showing it to everyone. <laughs> um, I, can't, I don't even know where I was then. Talking about Little Billy's mum. Before that. Uh, you were talking about... Astrobots kick back in the comments. Wow, yes. you've got a good memory. Ooh. Yes, um, there was a lot of kickback from us suggesting yes. it. And then obviously the developers were saying, if uh, there's enough demand, basically, it will come. Mm. And I, I think Astrobot on PC is such a good advert for PlayStation. Yeah, it's, the, it's literally a PlayStation advert. It reminds me of um, 
in the 90s there was a McDonald's game yeah and the Skittles game yes you know how those those games there was some like corporate games that existed yes. just as adverts for the yeah, corporation yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 it's like the perfect version of that mm -hmm. because it's an amazing game mm -hmm. and it's just full of PlayStation adverts the whole way through yeah. the whole thing is just a giant yeah. PlayStation advert and you it? can use your DualSense controller on PlayStation yeah. you and can use a DualSense yeah. Edge yes and fully customise yes. it firmware all the rest oh, of it oh yeah yeah you, on PC yeah, yeah on PC yeah yeah, yeah, you said PlayStation, but I, did underst I? I understood what you meant. <laughs> hey, did you know you can play your DualSense Edge on PlayStation? <laughs> did you know PS5 games work on PS5? <laughs> <laughs> did you know PlayStation's owned by Sony? Wow, no, no way. Never would have guessed. Did you know that the PS5 is fully backwards compatible? Really? With the PS4. Ah, oh, did you know they've only ever made PS4 games since the release of the PS5? <laughs> they boasted about it's one of the things I was looking back on uh, when the Concord news came out about 400 million dollars <laughs> I wanted to see how many units of the PS5 had sold because I was like mm. I wonder if they just gave a voucher to everyone instead of yeah. spending their money yeah, yeah. worked out they could give everyone seven dollars yeah, yeah. Like, uh, you could have just done that yeah and you've had loads of happier players yeah here's a seven dollar voucher why because we decided not to make a terrible game oh, whoa. yeah no. Yes, yeah, so I wanted to see some of the history of the PS5 launch because you forget about things when they happen yeah. so quickly. Yeah, yeah, of course. At launch of the PS5, they were genuinely celebrating its backwards compatibility <laughs> with, and I think they they claimed like 4,000 PS4 yes. titles. Yeah, I, I vaguely remember that number. It was something like that. Something like that, wasn't it? And I'm like, what? <laughs> I don't remember that. Four but then you think about all the... All the rubbish that's yeah. in, the, and we swore then. All the rubbish that's in, like the, <laughs> on the eShop, uh, whatever they call PlayStation, call it the PlayStation Store. Yes, like lots of little games. It's like there's a few that I've bought, some that are really good, and some that are just trash, mm. like mm. In, like weird little indie games. Yeah, and there's stuff. strange hentai ones you buy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> Stellar Blade Hentai Five. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, I I thought the first four weren't enough. So yeah, I didn't see it. what number yeah. five was like. Yes, yeah, of course. Yeah, uh, yeah. Tifa, um, yeah. Tifa shows you how it's yeah. done. Yeah. yeah, sixteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Version sixteen. Yeah, yeah. You know, I just fifteen wasn't enough. No, well, two B is coming to uh, Stellar Blade now from near. That's going to add a yeah. whole nother level. Yeah. to the reason to use photo mode. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So I'll go back to the point. And the point being, the Asus Rock Ally X, is it enough? Well, it's almost there to take away your PlayStation. Almost. It's I'm, not I'm quite. using this as a tenuous link, by the way. Yeah, no, I, I, I know. You can feel it coming yeah, in. Yeah. I could, yeah. But yeah, so it's almost for like diehard PlayStation people, no, of course. Yeah, of course not, yeah. But I think for the average person, probably yeah. Like mm. in terms of PlayStation, for sure. My PlayStation didn't get turned on for like this whole year. And so I thought just, you know, I justified and, selling it. And I'd argue the only reason you've kept your Xbox is because there's two of you in your house that are gaming. Yes. Like you and your wife gaming yeah. at the same time. Yes. If it was just you on your own yeah. or if it was just you into games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I doubt you would have kept your Xbox. Probably not. No, because pretty much everything on Xbox is on PC. You know, you've got Game Pass and then you've got every PC launcher out there and pretty much everything goes across. Yeah. You know? So, uh, yeah, you're right. The only reason we got the Xbox is so that Christina can play on the Xbox using my Game Pass account. <laughs> and I could play on PC using the same Game Haven't Pass account. that loophole yet? Shh, don't tell them. I don't <laughs> we want need them to, to know. stop telling everyone no. about it. <laughs> so, you know, two people can play at the same time with one Game Pass account. <laughs> uh, so they were supposed to close it. No, they weren't. No. Oh. no. They emailed me and I said no. Because there's, there's strong hints that they're going to bring out a Game Pass family plan. Mm. Not in my household. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, it pretty much can replace those things. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, really, I can pretty much replace the PlayStation and the Xbox. Obviously, you're then into a little bit of a hindrance if you're just somebody that wants to play docked TV. Yeah. You know? Like, it's totally capable at 1080p. Yeah. You know, you're going to get the same performance handheld as you are docked yeah. if you're at this 1080p. Obviously, playing on a seven-inch screen compared to what? Yeah, yeah what? like forty-inch TV. Yeah, forty plus. I wonder what the actual average household mm. TV size is. I think it's probably about forty now. Yeah, I'd say it's, it's probably definitely about got 40. loads bigger. Yeah, 
Um, so anyway, you, you're still going to see that sort of difference there. Yeah. And some people only want to play on the telly and probably want, you know, the best graphics possible or whatever. But there's solutions to that. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is where we're going with this because it, it looks like from your experience, you would be happy for it to replace all your, your console and your gaming PC, the gaming laptops and mm. all the other like other gaming devices you did have. Yes. It's slowly deleting them from your house. Yeah, I mean, so far I've sold three gaming PCs <laughs> and a PS5. <laughs> <laughs> and now something else happens. Yeah, maybe. Something else happened, Andy. Maybe. It's the title of the show. Oh, no, it's not. You're not going to tell them. <laughs> like, it's not like we could keep You're it. You're not going to tell them. They saw it and they clicked on it and went, you what? <laughs> The Asus ROG Ally X made me sell my Steam Deck. Ooh. Or words to that effect that we managed to make into a better title in the future. Because <laughs> that's already too long. All of this is on the poster. <laughs> I love it. AJ, 2024. Yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah, um, yeah, pretty much. You know, So I, I've not sold my Steam Deck yet. But, You're selling your Steam but Deck? I am going to sell my Steam Deck. Yeah, now. okay. So that was clickbait. It's yeah. not gone, but no, it's going. Yeah, it is going. And initially when I got the Ally X... I was like, no, I'll keep the Steam Deck for my retro stuff, you yeah. know, because of the, I love the Steam Deck. This is not a thing to do with not enjoying the Steam Deck. It's just about reappropriating money <laughs> and putting it into something else. <laughs> because your Alex ended up costing almost three times the amount. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, yeah, I've gone like proper hard into the Alex. Let's route. not beat around about it. You've gone balls to the wall. <laughs> I've made it like the most dominant thing I, I can right now. It's deleted um, all the other uh, components from your house because there's no room left. Yeah, pretty much. And so the Steam Deck, you know, I said ever since the beginning, because I think the thing that I love about this so much is I went into the Ally X expecting not to like it. Yeah. And now I yeah. freaking love it. You yeah. Know? Like I almost saw then as well. I almost got, yeah. got you. Um, so yeah, now I absolutely love it. And I've gone really hard into it. My poor Steam Deck's just been sat on the wall. Have you used it since? No. Apart from like any testing no, I've, I've, I test some controllers and stuff for yeah. other videos. And I would go, oh, my Steam Deck's set up for emulation because I've got all these GameCube games and Game Boy Advance games and stuff on there. So it's just easy, isn't it? Connect mm. a controller up to the, to the Steam Deck and test it on that. Instead, that's it. I don't yeah. actually use it. I don't play it. I, I don't stream a PlayStation to it like I used to no. because I don't have the PlayStation anymore. I don't need to use Game Pass streaming on it, which I used to do. And I used to stream my Xbox to my Steam Deck. Yeah. Don't need to because I've got native Game Pass on the Ally X. So, Obviously better. So, yeah. So yeah. it's now like redundant. Do you know what I mean? So it's literally I've got this two terabyte. Two terabyte. <laughs> Steam Deck OLED like sat on my wall. because Beautiful I got, like, a little machine. Thing. It's a stunning machine and it's just not getting used. That's criminal. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a lot of money to just be sat in a set aj <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> look that you can point fingers at me all you like i've been to your house these people have no doubt watched your videos too yeah i know i've got a lot of stuff in my set as well <laughs> i was thinking it the other day when you were um you were doing the two dollar fix video yes and there's uh who i call b-roll david in the <laughs> doing the shots that you're talking yes. over miming uh, he's a good ventriloquist, by the yeah, way. Yeah, he's good, yeah. And you can, like, see the other stuff, like, god damn, there's a lot of stuff oh, just on a wall. And I don't think in any shot that I've done yet, I've let the whole thing, like, peek no, in. No, because, like, at the far left, you've got, like, all, like the old stuff, you've got, like, game yeah, gears yeah. and stuff. The shelves up all the way to the ceiling. It's amazing. Dreamcast and it is amazing. PlayStation and all sorts. There's a lot of stuff there. But, uh, Collectors yeah, editions. adding the Steam Deck to that just to keep on the wall is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, I mean, that's like a modern bit. Do, do you know what's going to happen? What's that? Like five years will go forward, and you yeah. go. Oh, I wish I'd kept the Steam Pro Deck. Probably, yeah, uh, might, I might say. But the way, but the thing you'll I, pick it up really cheap. Then, yeah. Well, that's true. And also, these are all just PCs now. Do yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not like a 3DS or whatever where it's got some yeah. yeah. And even the I softwares, you. The, like you can only play the games on that. This yeah. is no different. A Steam Deck essentially is no different than a laptop or whatever. It's yeah. just got Steam OS on it. And now you can put Steam OS pretty much on anything because they're just about to release. Well, at some point they will, if not your Fazite. They've yeah. already announced that it's going to yeah. happen for the Ally X. Exactly. So Valve came out and said it. So they? to me, it's just a piece of hardware yeah. that I'm going to use for gaming and enjoying on. When Steam OS lands on the other PC handhelds, and we know it's happening to the Ally because yeah. they've highlighted that already. Yes. Yeah. 
does that change the conversation again? Because one of the big things everyone, when when we started exploring the Ally X mm. and moving a little bit away from the Steam Deck, mm. what one thing everyone was always talking about is that the Steam's just like the perfect machine because it's Steam OS. You just pick it up and play it. It's, yeah, it's like yeah. built for it. Yes. And I cannot. I don't have a counter argument to that because mm. it's absolutely mm. right. Yes. But Steam OS comes to these machines. Mm. Does that change that conversation entirely? It depends. Does it make the Steam Deck less relevant? Kind of. Depending on where you stand with what kind of games you want to play. Because the the trackpads are a big thing. They yeah, so, very good point. So yeah. the, the the main competitor now, you're looking at the Zotac zone, because it's the only other one that's got two trackpads. Yeah. And then you could put Steam OS on that, and that would run way more powerful than a Steam Deck. But then you're gonna pay the price jump. Yeah. up for the hard do you know what I mean like there's going to be trade-offs it's, it's a weird thing with the trackpads because you they're a great feature but you don't miss them when they're gone they're excellent but I only ever use them in desktop mode that's what I mean I've never played a, a game with them you, you, when you don't have them you don't miss them but when they're yeah. there it's great yeah yeah exactly yeah. weird yeah. kind of quirk I think those. the what they would should do at least is on like say the Ally X2 just have a singular trackpad or yeah, have one of those silly little like 1990s laptop mouse nubbins oh my you know? god i forgot about yeah. the little red one yeah. in the middle of the keyboard yeah, yeah 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 and you've got to push on it with like you know death grip to get it to like move yeah but like maybe have one that's a bit more sensitive <laughs> so that you're not breaking <laughs> they it were horrible you know or just have an old school mouse ball that's yeah, just, like, you could just like, 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 yeah that'd be great i could do with one of those on my ally but yeah so yes the ally x itself didn't make you say sell your steam deck no we actually did a whole video on that. Yeah, we did. Yeah. And we were like, no, it's not going to make no. me. Something else made you say yes. And it's more necessity yeah. than replacement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we've already spun the narrative that you're just not using it. Yeah, that's And true. that's totally fair. Why would you want two pretty much, the same pretty much identical devices? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, makes sense. Yeah. Uh, um, I think you'll miss the OLED screen, but you've yes. not switched it on in ages, so it doesn't make sense. Yeah. I yeah. get it. Yeah. But it's not. it wasn't even that reason that made you sell it. No. Is necessity to buy other things. It was, yeah. Yeah. Tell us what you've been doing. Uh, the, lo the long version, the short version. <laughs> we're only 35 minutes in. All right, we've got time. Give us the long version. <laughs> <laughs> so I was playing, obviously, the, the Ally X dot, uh, sorry, handheld all the time. Yeah. Because it's fantastic. We were playing multiplayer stuff. Yeah. I was like, this is great. You know, like, and then you kept saying, don't you miss the big screen? I'm like, no, no, I don't miss the big screen. Because I don't. Like, no. genuinely, I could. And when you're happy. playing it, you zoned in, don't exactly. you? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. We played all the gears and I never once thought, oh, this light screen's too small. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I just got sucked in. I was more impressed of how good the how graphics were. It looks. Yeah. Um, so I was like, this is amazing. VRR this, VRR that. Like, loving yeah. VRR again. Even though on PC, I've had a VRR screen ever since it came out in like 2013. Right. So. If playing on an actual dedicated PC, I just forget about VRR. Mm. But since having a handheld with a VRR screen, now it's like the best thing ever again. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'm like, yeah. yeah. No, I totally like, agree with that. I love this again and I know why. Whereas I've taken it for granted yeah. on mainline PC monitors, right? So anyway, playing a handheld, really, really cool. And then it was the the roll up to Star Wars Outlaws. I was like, I know I'm going to want to play this on the big screen. It's like, I know I'm going to want to experience it. Just sat on the TV, big, like, you know, imagine the Star Wars music and like, you yes. know, I was just, I want to go in and play it on that. So I was like, let's figure out a way to start to like, you know, to get the best performance out of this. So I used Satsuma, you know, bingo card, if I haven't said it already. Um, You're on fire. I am, aren't I don't know. Yeah. So Ghost of Satsuma. Uh, I was like, I'll download that. And install it. So did you buy it from your uncle in Argentina? I did, yeah. yeah. <laughs> did. My, my uncle, uh, CD it, keys. yeah, he, it was a, an early birthday present. Wow. Or late birthday present, however you want to see it. Um, so he, you know, I just magically got a copy of Ghost of Satsuma um, on PC. So I was like, great, because I had it on PlayStation. Yeah. And that's why I never bought it on PC. And he, he and I got rid of it. He gave you a copy to I, me. I did. I gave you a copy of that and be, Stella Blade. Might be the nicest thing you've yeah. ever done. Yeah. There's nothing in there. If you open the boxes, it? No. No, I sold the discs on eBay. It's just the boxes. I knew you'd just put them in the set. And never play it. <laughs> <laughs> you know me too well. <laughs> so, yes, I gave you the, the games, Stella yeah. Blade and Satsuma, the two games I wanted on PC. Uh, so my uncle gave me the, the key for Satsuma. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And I was like, right, I'm going to play this. Started playing it handheld and was like, this is insane because it plays it so well. Yeah. You know, and I was like, let's test this on the telly. 
put it on the TV, still runs amazing at 1080p, but we had a 4K OLED. So I was like, you know, I want to get a bit better experience. So I'm like, okay, how can I do this? I was like, I'm going to try and stream from my PC upstairs. So my editing PC that... Oh, God. Yeah. So I was, my editing PC that we edit these videos on and stuff has a RTX 3080 in it. Yeah. So it's like not the most mainline, mm. but it's 3080 card, you know? So I was Very like, capable card. Yeah, still, capable yeah. still. You know, I was like, that's pretty cool. Let's try streaming that downstairs to the Ally. I remember you talking about this. Yeah, and I was even thinking, can I just bypass the Ally and run like an HDMI cable under the floorboards, drill through the ceiling, drop it down... That seems ridiculous. Like, and I was like, that's a bit extensive, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I've just yeah. renovated a house. So I should have done that first. <laughs> just a cable coming out <laughs> yeah. the ceiling. I would have had to have uh, like surface mounted trunk into it. I was like, I don't want to do that's that. That's ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, no, let's stream to the Ally X. So I was like, cool. There's this thing. Well, on sh- Steam, you can natively do this with your Steam Deck or your, or your Ally X. If you've got a separate computer and you've got it installed there, go to your handheld and then go to find that game and it will say stream. And it would just stream it via Steam Link, but it's not a very good streaming capability. It introduces latency. Just to say it's latent. Yeah. And it's latent. Yeah, it is indeed. Um, so it introduces latency and it's just not the best way of doing it. And I was thinking, well, Star Wars Outlaws isn't even on Steam. It is now. Like it's coming. It's Ubisoft yeah. Plus, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It was on Ubisoft's own launcher. So I was like, oh, I can't even use Steam Link. So I was like, right, I'm going to have to find another way. So I went down the route of starting a LAN server. (laughs) Your own private LAN party. Yeah, basically, uh, by using Moonlight and Sunshine. Yeah. So I'd host, like, essentially the the LAN server on my gaming PC upstairs, play the game there, install Sunshine on my Ally X, load that up, and basically uh, remotely access the computer upstairs. Then finally via the TV. And then plug it into the TV, right? So I, I spent ages doing all this. And I was like, yeah, this is great. It's not, that doesn't sound great at all. <laughs> when to start it off, I was like, it's going to work first time, isn't it? No. No, of course no. not. Hardware encoding got me. So I had to turn off hardware encoding on the gaming PC sure. upstairs. Because that kept crashing the game every 10 minutes. And yeah. it's upstairs. So every time it crashed, I had to walk upstairs, sort it out, come back downstairs. And also... Like, like this is annoying. any normal house in any normal area is just gonna have a mess yeah. of Wi-Fi. Oh yeah, yeah. Wi-Fi is yeah. gonna be a mess everywhere. So everyone's going, "Why did you sell your PS5 if you're trying to?" <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I'm you running could, around the house going, "Why is this just, not working?" You could have just bought it on the PS5. I know. I, know. Well, I had it on PS5. I'll give it to you. Um, <laughs> it's because we're still testing Ghost of Satsuma. Um, right. But so <laughs> I was like adamant I was gonna get this to work. Then I had controller issues <laughs> where the dongle wouldn't work. So a dedicated 2.4 gigahertz dongle was interfering with the Wi-Fi. Of course, yeah. yeah. So Bluetooth worked, even yeah. though online everyone was saying don't use Bluetooth controllers with sunshine uh, and moonlight because apparently that caused a problem. So I was like, this makes no sense. Why is it backwards for me? Whatever. So it was on and on That's and That's weird. On. I would have thought the 2.4 would be more likely yeah. to cause interference. Yeah, but apparently no. It's the opposite way. So I was like, this is annoying. Finally figured it out playing Ghost of Satsuma, like 4K, you know, like this is awesome. Uh, Was really enjoying it. But like every 20 to 30 minutes, I'd get like five to 10 seconds of heavy stuttering where it would go to like five FPS, Uh, like proper chug. And always when I was in a fight or something, I was like, oh, this is annoying. Like it was annoying. Like for those 20 minutes, it was golden. Then that would happen, and then it wouldn't happen again for twenty to forty-five minutes. Is that some memory leak thing? No idea. That's I what think it sounds like. It sounded like, but I think what it was is something interfering in the Wi-Fi network. Oh, so, yes. like a camera transmitting or uploading, because yeah, I've got security cameras okay, and an stuff. Intermittent thing. Yeah. yeah. So it was like some sort of intermittent thing, and then I was like, the only way I'm going to diagnose this is by turning off everything smart <laughs> and one by one turning them all back no, on. No, don't do that. I was like, I'm not doing that because no. I'm going to have to test it 20 minutes every time just to find out per device. So I'm not, I'm not doing that. So, yeah. So I was like, nah. So I was like, there's got to be another way. I was like, because now I'm set on playing on the TV. And the good thing is about having the Ally X and this is the other problem, right? Streaming it from the, the PC upstairs, cloud saves, if your game doesn't support them, then you're going to have to manually transfer the save from the PC upstairs to the ally, which is what happened with Star Wars Outlaws. Star Wars Outlaws comes out. Didn't have cloud saves. Didn't have cloud saves. 
and I was trying to show you the game, if yeah. you remember. I had to get uh, the saves from my PC you need to get the upstairs, save file. and I had to email them to myself, <laughs> and then on my ally, open my email, take my saves, put them in the right folder, yeah. you know, and all that, so that then I could continue. And if I wanted to then play on the PC again, I'd have to do it all over again. I was like, this is annoying. Like, I want all my saves to be on my ally, so I'm not messing around, you know? Yeah. And I was like, there's only one way of doing this. And that's with an eGPU, <laughs> <laughs> of which I was like, I'm not going to go down that it's route. It's a big leap. It is, yeah. Big yeah. leap. Yes. So I was like, I'm not going to do this, you know. Because it's going to cost thousands. It's going to cost a lot. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, and I don't want to go down that route. It's probably going to have loads of bottlenecking and there's probably going to be loads of troubleshooting. And, and I'll be honest, the only eGPUs I'd seen up to that point was way back in the day, um, Apple did a collaboration with Blackmagic and there was this big like <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah it was awful and, yeah. and really overpriced yeah. and the only other ones i've seen are bitcoin miners yeah and they're like l brackets with yeah, just yeah. exposed graphics yes. card yes it's like That's it. okay i don't know about external graphics yes. that doesn't sound like fun no it didn't like i don't like the idea of all the dust getting into the yeah and like no protection do you know what i mean if that knocked over just That's, raw dogging your graphics yeah, card. Yeah, literally, yeah. Yeah, that's another bingo it should be. Raw dogging. Raw dogging. Um, but yeah, so I was just like, oh, I don't know about this. I was like, let's do some research. Because I was getting really annoyed by these stutters. And I'd been playing Outlaws, really enjoying the game, but getting all these stutters. It's like, I need to find a better way. So I was like Googling it and looking into it. Found out that, you know, if you use an AMD card, it clashes with the Allies uh drivers yes so you've got to remove all the drivers and install like the 780m driver and then whatever driver for your graphics card and it's not hot swappable and stuff like that that was, that was annoying so I, was like, I don't want to do that found out nvidia on the other hand is the opposite if you install the graphics card drivers for that they don't clash with the amd drivers and they only engage when... is that just because it's different yeah i think so because it's a completely separate that's really like interesting because you would like intuitively assume it'd be the other way around. Other way, yeah. I thought, oh, you better go AMD because it's AMD, using an yeah. AMD chip. Yeah, but I guess it's conflicting with the itself. The yeah, graphics that are on the system. Absolutely, yeah. And that's why you've got to remove <laughs> those. Whereas with an Nvidia card, it you doesn't don't need to. doesn't conflict, and it only enables that driver for the uh, Nvidia card once you've plugged the eGPU in. So it sees so, it. So it's literally a plug and play situation. So I was like, right. That's M really good advice. Yeah. So I was like, NVIDIA are better anyway because yeah. of DLSS. Yeah. Come on. Like, you know, AMD is still in the past. You're not using AI. So, uh, you know, well, they are with Pisser for the PS5 Pro. It's um, not AI. Please, everyone, <laughs> stop calling it AI. It's actually hurting me. <laughs> so, uh, you know, you haven't got a dedicated hardware encoding for for that yeah so whereas nvidia do with dlss and i was thinking you are going to take a performance hit on the egpu you're looking yeah. at anywhere from 20 to 30 percent loss mm. you know de depending on your setup there's going to be a bottleneck of the thunderbolt port 100 yeah you're, you you've got thunderbolt 4 and usb 4 on the ally but there's very few thunderbolt 4 egpu enclosures do they exist yet they do but they're not seen them few and far between um and they're mainly all the open ones Ugh. which i didn't want to do i wanted a nice yeah you know enclosure yeah. that's protected yeah and you know? not but ugly to be sat yeah. in the lounge yeah you know? i didn't want my tv there to have a, a psu power supply yeah. with like cables spewing out of it going into the side of a card that's yeah. there. Do you know what i mean i didn't want all this stuff like i didn't want it to look like robocop's just been murdered in my living room <laughs> like, <laughs> like cables and stuff hanging out everywhere well like, i like to think of like the stereotypical like hacker in like 90s hollywood movies yes, yeah yeah they got like stuff yes, everywhere yes, in their screens room. around them and, like, <laughs> for cables. no reason yeah for no reason not like a tape anything. machine running like, yes. no reason yeah yeah just call me neil <laughs> uh, exactly <laughs> and so i was like i don't want to do that yeah. you know so i'm thinking now i'm i'm now limited to thunderbolt 3 so there's definitely going to be bottlenecks right so yeah. i was like okay fine i was like you need to get a relatively good card to you know get over that bottleneck to then be able to play at a high resolution and stuff yeah so i was like right started googling around everyone goes for the the razor core x or the chroma which was razor's last eGPU enclosures thunderbolt 3 from about seven years ago that's the thing that's kind of interesting it's an area that that, that boomed and it's just kind of kind of flopped off the face of the earth almost it? died yeah it's external weird, it? enclosures yeah and there's huge like like 
advocates for them. Yeah. So there's all these big like niche like users of eGPUs, but they've all just gone this custom route now mainly. You know, like they go and build them themselves with these open air ones. But there's still a lot of people that use these older ones, like the Razer stuff. But I think Razer killed themselves with it because they made them too expensive. They made yes. them too good a quality. Yeah. Like real nice machine alloy, like metal cases with inbuilt whole power bunch of in and, and outs as yeah, well. Yeah. Like really nice stuff. And they were well expensive. I don't, I don't think you need all the, the in and out part. I don't use them in mine. No, because uh, that's obviously going to introduce more demand on that bottleneck absolutely yes i, th I don't think it's necessary no. and, th and that's why with the razor chroma x the the razor core x and the razor core x chroma mm. I, I don't think they have in and outs i might be wrong the chroma does i think one of them is just literally a USB-C. yeah it's just thunderbolt 3 nothing else yeah i ended up going for the razor core v2 which is the smallest one but the most compact. And I was like, that's cool. It's going to be in my living room. I don't want this honking great yeah, PC yeah. tower. Do you know what I mean? Just want this nice little thing there. Can take a dual fan card. Does have all the in and outs, but I won't use them. And then that will free up the yeah. bandwidth on the Thunderbolt port, right? And it's got 65 watt power delivery. So oh. I was like, one cable solution for the Ally X. Oh, so you've just docked your Ally X. Yeah. So literally one cable in and that's it now i'm getting power to so i can 30 watts turbo yeah i can then put all my vram back into the system system yeah so you just go to auto and it leaves 0.4 gig so 400 megabytes to the inbuilt gpu yeah and then the rest so basically 24 gig to the system so i've got 24 gig on the cpu side and then i've got 12 gigabytes dedicated on the gpu side nice <laughs> so it's like 36 gig of ram system yeah. on the ally x now because i got that razor core v2 and i put an rtx 4070 in it with 12 gig of ram dude so, <laughs> dude what well i was gonna get a 4060 ti yeah. 16 gigabytes but they're really overpriced for what they were and i found literally i think it was 20 to 30 pounds more was the rtx 4070 and i was like well, that's got way more performance. Mm. So I'm going to go for that. For 20 to 30 pound more? Yes. I wanted to get the 4070 Super, but that was in dollars, I think it worked out $150 more. Mm. And it's not it's enough. Like of, pounds more. Yeah, it was 100 quid more. It's not enough of a jump to go between those. Yeah. I was like, I'm not paying that no. for minimum games. No, the problem is you, you end up chasing yourself then. Yes. Like, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. And then you get to that and you go, actually, it's only a couple of hundred pounds yeah, more. to the next one. Yeah. And then to the next one. You're always, yeah. yeah. Whereas I was happy to settle with one of the cheaper cards, but that 20 to 30 pound difference, I was like, I can do that. Yeah. And that's worthy gains. That will make up that bottleneck. Do you know what I mean? Like throttling. So you've got a one cable solution dock. Yes. For your Ally X to turn it into the ultimate gaming console. Yeah. And and the thing with the 4070 is, because it's NVIDIA, it's got DLSS and frame gen, hasn't it? Oh. So that 20% bottleneck. Think about the frame gen. Yeah. So the, the bottleneck that I'm taking a hit on from using this eGPU. You just compensate for it. I can it. bypass it. Yeah. Well, yeah, compensate for it by enabling DLSS and frame gen. And like I was running Ghost of Satsuma, you know. Yeah. Uh, at 4K, at like 90 FPS, all maxed out from the Ally X onto my 4K TV. So what about the TV situation then? That's where another problem lied. Yeah, because the pa you're not going to... You're going to be in introducing screen tear, yes. I imagine. Yeah, because our 4K OLED TV w was... I don't know how long we had it. Four or five years? Yeah. And it's a brilliant TV for cinema yeah. like you know that's what it's designed for that's exactly what it's designed it's, yeah, for, yeah it's a sony master series you yeah. know it's, it's for the movie lovers and the series watchers excellent oled screen gorgeous and i'll, I'll say that it's absolutely gorgeous. it is beautiful isn't yeah. it but only 60 hertz refresh yeah and that's it no game modes nothing like you know it had a game mode for like low latency so if you just played casually it's fine mm. but that was it like no like uh, high refresh rate, no VRR, nothing. Uh, and it was very dim. So playing with any kind of light source anywhere made it very difficult to see. Not that that matters, but, you know, I just thought I'd throw it in there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this but, is all justification yeah, for yeah, buying yeah. Got a new TV. Justify, yeah, that's it. I, I didn't say I put on a new TV. Uh, 
I might have bought a new TV. Yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah. So I'm there playing this eGPU setup now that I'm really proud of. Yeah. It worked, by the way, first time. I mean, you were there. I was like, there. Well, yeah. yeah, I was there when it arrived yeah. and you set it up. Yes. And, yeah. So literally plugged it in. The only thing that didn't work was the... What was it? Uh, it, it was a cable, wasn't it? That I'd it came supplied with a, oh, a low-speed HDMI yeah, cable. It was, was the it? HDMI that didn't work. So yeah. I was like, oh, this is annoying. But anyway, got around that. So it was plug and play. Plugged the eGPU into the Ally X, put the NVIDIA card, obviously already installed, installed the NVIDIA yeah, drivers. don't hot swap the card. No, 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 don't <laughs> hot swap the card. Uh, installed the NVIDIA drivers. That was it, it worked. Yeah. And now you can hot swap the eGPU. I can literally have it all running just pull it out and walk off. Is it okay that that blows my mind a little it's bit? It's mad, isn't you it? You can just hot swap, a, like literally yeah. hot swap a graphics card. Boom, boom, yeah. Boom, boom, boom. yeah, yeah. Wow. It's, it's mad because I, I thought you'd have to fully shut everything down It gets first. me really you excited for what the future of handhelds is. Yeah, literally just go. I know this just, is a little bit Frankenstein and, yes. and a very expensive solution to this. Yes. You've edged yourself into that expense yeah. all in one go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And but, I sold all like loads of yeah, stuff. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> But just imagining, like, how good, like, um, like, the hardware inside handhelds is now and how small it is now, accompanied yeah. by equally powerful and small external graphics processors yes. yeah, in yeah. a dock. Yeah. I think, like, if the Nintendo Switch 2 had some yeah. kind of graphics processing, or yeah. what's more likely than the Xbox handheld. That's what I was going to say, yeah. If, imagine if Xbox did a hybrid next-gen that's literally plug and play. Which is literally an eGPU dock. Yes, an with, eGPU dock. With a really high-powered handheld. Oh. You just plop it in. Boom. Seeing what the Ally X was then capable of, mm. and I've not seen the new panel yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, So without seeing the new TV, still seeing it on the OLED, seeing what it's capable of was like stepping into the future. It's mad, like, isn't it? It blows my this mind. This is insane. Yeah. And it's that little handheld PC that's yeah. powering this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's nuts, isn't it? And I'm watching like Ghost of Tsushima yeah. at like 4K mm. and you're running around and it's over 100 FPS. Yeah, yeah, it's nuts. Absolutely mind-blowing, isn't it? What? Yeah. So that caused the problem. So yeah. um, just reconfirming that the eGPU is fully plug and play. Yeah. Literally just pong, pong, dong. Like, you know, it's so, so good. Uh, yeah. So with the screen because we were getting such high FPS, it was screen tearing, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was. Like horrible screen yeah. tearing. And you can't use DLSS frame gen and V-Sync at the same time. So V-Sync's there, if you don't know what V-Sync is, it's there to basically queue up the frames generated from your graphics card to align with the refresh of the panel. Yeah. So when they're out of sync, which yeah. is what caused tearing, like you've got my graphics card that's, let's say pumping 100 fps so it's just firing it like a machine gun yeah but then my screen's only refreshing at 60 yeah so it's out of sync and all the frames that my thing's gunning at this screen are just getting overlaid like out of time so v-sync aims to queue up the frames and then get them to refresh at the same time which causes latency because yeah. you've got this queue yeah of of frames and then it like makes them line up so that you don't get screen tearing so that's okay. VRR solves that. Yeah. So a variable refresh makes the screen refresh in and line with in the line frames. with the frames, providing that you've got high enough refresh yes. ceiling to like do that. So let's say you had a hundred and forty four hertz monitor and you're outputting a hundred frames, that's fine because yeah. you're within that bracket window. So then they always marry up. You can see a hundred FPS without screen tearing. Yeah. Whereas if you've got a panel that doesn't have VRR you have to make sure the FPS is lower than the 60 hertz, for example, then put V-Sync on and then you're okay. So we couldn't run Ghost of Satsuma at 100 yeah. because it was screen tearing all over yes. the place. I had to turn off frame gen. So in my mind, I'm like, oh, I could be getting double the performance because yeah. now I'm at 50 FPS and I'm having to V-Sync it, which is causing latency and stuff. And it was annoying me. I was like, oh, you know, spoil, you know. Here, here. Yeah, first <laughs> massively first world gamer problems yeah. gamer problems oh, 101. Oh, PC oh, master race problems this isn't giving me everything I know it can um, I can see it working but yeah. it's not showing yeah. oh. so I was like begrudgingly like Mew. like a sport kid like you know I'm loving this but it pushes me off yeah yeah <laughs> 
And uh, the same applies to when Ghost, uh, sorry, when um, Outlaws was, Outlaws problem, was the same thing. I was like, oh, really? Although wish. in the, the 21 by 9, is it? 21? Oh, yeah. I can't even think what the aspect ratio is. Yeah, it's is. 21 by 9. Oh, my God, it looks so good. It's so cool. I didn't think that 21 by 9 yeah. would be that good. It's amazing. It was like watching a Star Wars yeah. film. I was yeah, like, this is yeah. unreal. It's weird, isn't it? How yeah. an aspect ratio just makes you immediately feel like Star Wars. Immediately, yeah. And especially on the new screen, mind-blowing. Like, yeah. I can't wait to show you. Um, but so yeah. what screen did you get? So I went with a Philips. Ooh. The Extra. The Extra. Yes. Um, what was it? Some P... P- PML or something like that. Who cares? 9009. Right. Something like that. A load of rubbish that they put yeah. on screens, you know. So it's a mini LED. It's a mini LED. Mini LED. I've not seen one. No, I hadn't either. Um, and that's why I was a bit dubious yeah. because I got an insane deal. <laughs> <laughs> like an insane deal. I wasn't even looking to buy buy a TV. I was researching them because of this VRR problem. You weren't looking to buy a TV. No. You weren't looking to buy an external graphics card. No. No. Um, I you weren't looking to buy an Asus Rock Ally X. No. 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 And now I have. Uh, and I'm going to track all of this back, <laughs> all of this problem, back to a portable monitor. Yes. Because you bought the Ally X because yes. it was amazing and is amazing. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. And then we got sent a portable monitor to to review. Yes. The Arzopa. Arzopa something. It's yeah. a gaming monitor. I think yeah. it's 144 hertz, isn't it? It is 144 hertz, 1080p, yeah. It's a good little monitor, really yeah. good little monitor. No VRR though, but, no. but still high refresh rate. And when we started playing, um, it's one of the co-op games we were playing together. Yep. Uh, you, your wife Christina and myself, mm-hmm. You were playing on the little portable mm-hmm. monitor. Mm-hmm. Like, ah, actually, this docked to something is really quite cool. Mm-hmm. And I mm-hmm. think that just set something off in your head. It probably did. Yeah, it probably did. Because I was like, this is really cool for playing multiplayer. So what I'm getting at is you can blame me <laughs> for getting that portable monitor sent to you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was all That's my it. fault. It is, yeah. It is. And, uh, so I blame you and Asus. Uh, and Asus, yeah. Because without Asus you know, sending the uh, yeah. ally for us to check out. I wouldn't have bought one. And then yeah. without you getting that screen over, then, you know. You would still be playing the Steam Deck OLED. Yeah. And, and being really happy. happy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. But we wouldn't but... be making this video about you selling your Steam Deck. <laughs> but, well, yeah, that comes to the screen part. Yeah. So, the I was researching the TVs and I, I was like, let's just look at what technology's out there. You know, what what high refresh rate, what VRR panels there are. Mm. Obviously, the first thing I looked for was OLED VRR. Yeah. First thing I saw was the price and thought I could get a PS5 much, Pro. How for much that. is an OLED VRR panel? Thousands, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like several grand for like a good one. Yeah. You know, and one big enough, you know. So it was like, Okay, I was like, I won't look at that. I'll look at QLED and stuff. And I was yeah. like, Nye. I've got a like, Samsung QLED. It's yeah, quite good. They're good, yeah, aren't they? They look they're, nice. They're decent. Yeah. Like, I've got whatever that high sense was in in yeah. the studios, what people see in the videos, my 42 inch or whatever it is on the yeah. wall. Um, that's a prop. It's <laughs> <laughs> an expensive prop. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but anyway, that is good. I, I was actually quite mind blown by how good QLED was yeah. compared to like standard LCD. Yeah, definitely. Um, but then I was like, well, what's this mini LED thing? It's meant to be like really bright like, mm. and and stuff like that. I was looking at them and I saw this Philips one. I was like, oh, that's cool. I was looking at Hisense because they're really good prices. So they're like more budget orientated, but they've got really good spe- like specs. Um, and then it just caught my eye, this Philips one. And Now that Sony TV we had, the OLED was 55 inch and which was good but i always found myself squinting because it was really dark mm. and also it seemed quite small because we've moved house now we're a bit further away from the tv so it's a bit smaller do you know what i mean so yeah. and i'm like you know squinting during the daytime trying to see the tv like and everything i was like oh, it's kind of annoying what if we went big <laughs> and so i was just looking and that philips tv popped up again and i saw a 75 inch one wow and i was like oh that's cool 75 so, inches. <laughs> 75 then I found a website that I think mis, uh, mispriced it <laughs> <laughs> for the 55 inch one. Yeah. Because the 55 inch is the same price as the as they listed the 75 inch. Which you'd expect to be like almost double. Yeah. So I was like, okay. So I was like, I'm going to see if this other website that, you know, has got, got it will price match so I can get a 0% you know, finance on it. And then I can sell some stuff to cover the cost of the telly. <laughs> and they went, yeah, we'll price match. I went, Really? 
Okay. They, they sent me a voucher with this huge discount on it. I was like, okay, cool. Uh, and yeah, so all of a sudden I had a quick uh, discussion with my wife and uh, tried to make her see things from my eyes. Did she convince you to sell everything? Yes. Yeah, which yeah. is fair. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, she fair. said, I agree with you. This is a ridiculously good deal. I mean, yeah. we were saving like over a thousand pounds. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so I was like, yeah, yeah let's do this. And uh, she was like, okay, so let's sell some stuff. Let's sell the old TV. She was like, you don't really use your Steam Deck OLED. Like, oh, was, was that like, like, when she said that, did it hurt? I, it a bit of a dagger? I suggested it. So it's not oh. her fault. I suggested I sold some of my retro stuff. Yes, I, okay. I said, look, I've got crap tons of Game Boy Advance games that yeah. were stuff that are just literally propped. Yeah. You know, and I've got all the ROMs that I've legally removed from those cards myself. To back it up. To and back obviously it up. you'd delete those if I'd you sold those I'd delete those, those if I sold them. But I might hang on to them just until, you know, I sold them just to make to be sure, sure. Yeah. you know, you've got to make sure no one else is going to rip them off first. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I was like, I'll just sell some of my old games and stuff. She was like, no, don't do that. I was like, I'll sell my my Steam Deck then. And she said, mm. and then she thought about it. She was like, well, you've got your ally and you can do everything on that that you can on the Steam Deck. And I went, exactly. I was like, there we go then. So we decided to sell the TV, sell the Steam Deck. <laughs> Hurts. And... We got this 75 inch mini LED, which is like looking at the sun because it's like <laughs> 1500 nits or something. It's so bright. So, uh, and it's got VRR. I was just going to say, yeah. what's the other one? It's got VRR. It's got FreeSync Premium. 144 hertz, is it? Yeah, 144 hertz. FreeSync Premium. Yeah, FreeSync Premium, which works with uh, G-Sync as well, which in my NVIDIA card. It also has mental backlit LEDs. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That mirror the colour that's Oh, yeah. On it's got ambient time. lighting on the back. I, I've i never liked ambient lighting before. No, but this is ridiculous. But the way this one works, it... Yeah. It genuinely looks cool. It's instantaneous, the change. Yeah. So it's got RGB LEDs all around the back of the screen. And whatever happens on the screen, I don't know how it works, but whatever it sees on the screen or image gets projected onto the screen, it mimics it on the back. Yeah. And it's really odd because if you've got someone like in the shot, let's talk to this camera, and I move my hand like this around the frame, like behind it, it would shine the color of my hand around the screen it's so weird yeah and I, I sent you a video of star wars yeah and i was on the speeder just going like for a left tunnel and, right and, stuff and was... stuff's just like flashing past and it's really like en engrossing you know it extends the yes. image yes it's really cool yes it like, does. wow that's made that like a hundred inches yeah. somehow it feels ridiculous because at first i was like i don't know if i'm gonna like this light thing yeah. i might turn it off started playing star wars outlaws i was like oh this is amazing <laughs> yeah. i was like this is so cool so yeah it's a pimped out telly like really good and i let christina have the first go so she's well into cod and she's been complaining for years my controller's rubbish like every time i shoot oh she's been not playing happening. on a 60 hertz tv yeah. isn't she yeah 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 which is not designed for gaming no and i said it's either your controller's rubbish because you're using a bog standard xbox controller yeah. or slow polling rate and stuff yeah i said or it's the the latency between the xbox and the screen because the screen's yeah, not designed be. for gaming literally the second we hooked everything up i said play cod i just want to see so we went into the xbox settings made sure we clicked it's on yeah. vrr yeah. you know like made sure everything was all right went into the tv made sure it was all in the gaming mode and everything auto switches you know and everything so i was like sweet she played cod and literally her kill score was double <laughs> like she was she was like 30 kills to like eight deaths or something she was like this is insane and i was like yeah because she's good she's yeah, a really she's good, good player yeah. like she's very good at playing just, just to clarify she's uh, at least four people better than me <laughs> it would take four of me to get a score close to hers <laughs> but <laughs> she's very good at call of duty yeah and, at 75 inch it feels like you're in the game like yeah. you could see people like on the opposite side running around it's like i would have never seen them before and she's like pure pure like you know just immediately like pew pew in everyone yeah <laughs> and i was like i didn't realize that pew was a verb yeah, i like is. it yeah pew, pew. Pew, pew pewing them yeah pew pewing them oh it's so, not pewing it's pew pewing pew pewing yeah okay yeah, yeah pew pewing it's got to be both the star wars pew, sound pew, effect yeah exactly. is a verb that's it that's brilliant it. so <laughs> So she was mind blown. She was like, oh my God, I'm better. I said, I, I knew it would be the latency of the telly and yeah. everything because you were playing at 60. Now you're playing at like, you know. Double. Yeah. So I was like, this is so much better. So she was really happy immediately. Is there any way of getting a frame read out on the Xbox? I don't know. It's like Digital Foundry managed to do this stuff a lot. Mm. But I don't know if they're counting frames. Or no, they'll, they'll be putting it through something. Through something yeah, yeah, I imagine. Um, I'm not too sure if there's an FPS I'd count. love to know what it run, what runs, what like, that, pod yeah. runs at. Well, I Xbox. know on the Xbox, you can set it to 1080p mode 
yeah. then it would take advantage of 120 hertz. Yeah. So that you would even have it even better then. Yeah. You know, we've still just left it in 4K mode. You know, so it would still be like you've got a 75 inch panel. <laughs> you kind of need to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, you know, but, all those times you said that 4K 4K is pointless yeah. or like small screens yeah, yeah. and stuff. Now it's now, now it's like the size of your lounge. <laughs> it literally is. Yeah. You definitely need a 4K yeah. 4K output. But that was with the Xbox. Yeah. And then hooked it up to the Ally with the CGPU. It was finally like G Sync. Yes. Mm -hmm. Finally, frame generation. Yes. yes. Yeah no tearing yes and i put star wars outlaws on and well actually i put ghost of satsuma on uh just to put it back to like, like yeah. 100 fps 4k like upscaled i was like this is amazing like i sent you that photo and was like i'm jaw dropping the, right it, now it, it does not look real it doesn't does it no. and then i went to star wars outlaws and played in 16 by 9 on the other screen the yeah. 55 inch i was like this trying to see it like squinting this one's so big i'm like yeah Here i'm like go. right in the game uh, and I played that for like a few hours and was just mind blown at the performance and everything and it, how good it was. It has to be said, it's quite a, a rare setup that you've got. But I don't think you'll be alone in wanting to do it. Yeah. I think there'll be plenty of people that come from, especially that come from the PC side of gaming. Yes. They'll see this as a, actually, it's not terrible value for money what you're doing there. Yeah. When you compare it to building a PC rig. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not, yeah. It's not crazy. No, it's on par. I mean... And a lot of those parts are... Um, swappable as well yes yeah that eGPU like you know i could the take enclosure. a full 70 out yeah. yeah the enclosure you're still going to be able to use the next when the next generation of cards come yeah. out yeah, yeah uh the bottleneck being a thunderbolt 3 connection isn't that much of a limiting factor yeah. when no. you actually talk about how much bandwidth you're using yeah 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 uh it's not a, it's not a crazy setup um and i can see why in all of that you've got this crazy docked setup and then if you wanted to go upstairs and play in your bedroom or something, you can just whip it out and carry on yeah. Yeah, yeah. with the same amazing game just on a seven-inch screen now instead. Yes. I can see why that would delete the need of a Steam Deck in your life. Yeah. I can yeah. understand that. Yes. Yeah. And, that, and that's Because how thing. could it possibly compare? Yeah. And, that, and that's the thing. It's sad that the Steam Deck doesn't support eGPUs. Yeah. Because that would be mind-blowing for so many people. Yeah. You know, and I think Valve need to put that in for Steam Deck 2. It can't be that hard for them to implement. No, they just need to have a Thunderbolt, yeah. you know, uh, capability, which the current one doesn't. I wonder if it's a driver's thing as well. It drivers for is, Linux, yeah. Linux yeah, might be difficult. Yeah, true. Yeah, true. I'm, I'm not sure if NVIDIA... I'm, what are they they must, there must be some cause yeah you can select your operating system when you're downloading the drivers I've never thought about it because I've always had a Windows system yeah so there must be Linux versions of the drivers it must be because really so. not everyone uses Windows so um, you've sold your PS5 yeah you sold your Razer Blade yeah up top yeah sold your gaming PC yeah you sold your PS5 yes <laughs> You sold your house. Yes. No, you didn't. Sold my dog. Sold your dog. <laughs> so, sold your wife. Yeah. But now you have yeah. the ultimate <laughs> hybrid gaming system. I cannot yeah. wait for the videos yes. that you're going to make about it. Yeah, yeah. They're yeah. going to be some of the geekiest videos you've ever made. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Yeah. So bring a Red Bull. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> like, oh. Now, I'm loving it, though, because I've always been the handheld guy. Yeah. And I've always loved having either like a high-powered PC or a console and straddling both. that line i've got it all in one yeah i can literally just go plonk but the thing is now i am way using it more docked than i am handheld i get that because it's amazing yeah because i'm just like this is so cool <laughs> i love the idea of it as when as an ultimate hybrid when you started talking about wanting to do an eGPU and start this journey mm. i was like do you know what i can so get on board with this being just the pinnacle of like hybrid gaming yes because this why everyone fell in love with the switch yeah i mean great ip is sure yes but also that hybrid console that's what i've thing. always been chasing is that switch like yeah. experience yeah but like switch but with triple a games yeah, yeah. at triple a performance yeah. yes please i think everyone out there would want that yeah, yeah and yeah. Right now, it might be a... Com it's not even that complicated because it was plug and play when you get the right it's easy, components. Yeah. you just got to have some understanding of what you need to do. Yeah. But if someone just walked... If I wrote a guide... It'd be very easy to follow. It'd be so easy yeah. to follow. It, there is a, an expense. It's an expense to everything. Um, so I guarantee there's going to be people that are interested in that. But I think the most exciting thing for the rest of us is like 
this is a window into what's possible mm. next as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. That's, that's. I hope Xbox go this route. Yeah. What if one of them does it natively? I just think they win. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Like like how Switch won the last yes. generation. Yeah, I yeah. just think they go. Yeah, you've won. Well done. I think that's what Xbox needs. Yep. To win, they keep saying play anywhere. Do you know what I mean they want Game Pass anywhere? If they had a high powered handheld that dropped into an eGPU. Jesus. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah, they, 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 they would just literally win. Because yeah, that's what I've got now. Take my money. Yeah. With this Ally X thing. Oh, which, and it, by the way, it's um, £700. Yeah, yeah. Something like that would be insane. Same price as PS5 Pro. Yeah. Even if it was more, I'd accept that because you're getting two systems in one. Do you know what I mean? I think that's the one thing I'm very intrigued with the, this next generation. Yeah, how far up. they keep pushing it. How far yeah, they yeah. push this price yeah, thing. Because yeah, yeah. we know that they're all going to go there. They're all oh, about yeah. 500 now. It's happened. Yeah. Sony have done it. They've, yeah. they've broke the seal. And Sony have shown that that despite the uh, discourse that happens online, that's just a small, very small percentage of actually the total player base. And mm. most people don't care. Mm. Mm. Most people are busy with their day-to-day lives, working normal jobs, mm-hmm. having disposable income and going, yeah, I want that. Mm-hmm. Buy it. Mm-hmm. I want to play the latest games in the best way possible. Buy the new PlayStation. Yeah. That's yeah. how most people are, yes. majority of people. Yeah. It's only us lot that watch videos and, mm-hmm. and make videos about games that really get like... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah you know, totally. kind of het up about things mm-hmm. and, and see things for slightly amoral and like, oh, PlayStation can't do that. Yeah. PlayStation will do it and they will sell it. They'll do whatever. And then they'll yeah. show Microsoft and Nintendo and all the others... That they that, can do it too. <laughs> that they can do it too. You can yeah, get away with this. Exactly, yeah. And actually, if there's... Here's the one thing that might be good about the whole thing for us as gamers. If there's more margin and more headroom in the systems, that could enable them to do more. Yes. Like push the bound, push the envelope a little bit further. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. So if you if you said to Microsoft, it's okay for you to charge $700 for your next console, £700 mm. pounds for your next console, they could go, we could still make it at a loss. Mm-hmm. But charge seven hundred for it. Yeah. How much better yeah, can yeah, we yeah. make it now? That'd be like a grand's worth of console, <laughs> like that kind of thing. You know, it'd be even better again. Yeah. And that's the thing with this setup that I've done. Ignore the TV because you don't need to buy a new TV to do this. But some people might do. But um, you know, but the TV is awesome. <laughs> but the TV is freaking awesome. Right? <laughs> it's ridiculous. Seventy-five inch. I don't think I've ever seen in my life no. like, in person. No. When it came through the door, I was like, oh my god. I think this is too big. <laughs> and, uh, but anyway, like. If you look, like you said, yes, it's expensive. But if you're looking at a PC setup, I've spent about the same amount of money as I would if I was just building a tower. 100%. You know? Yeah. So, but now I've got the best of both worlds, yeah. as you've said. So I'm I'm done, uh, gone are the days where I would sit at a desk and play games, which is, I spent 20 years doing that. I don't do that anymore. I want to vegetate on the sofa with my dog asleep on my lap. You know, my missus playing with me or whatever, you know. Yeah. Um, so it's all about the sofa game now. And so what I would have spent on a desktop gaming setup, I've now put into a handheld and an eGPU setup at the same cost. And like you said, I've got a docked TV experience, which is fantastic. And I could just one cable unplug, leave, yeah, done. It's phenomenal. Yeah, it's really good. Really, really good. I'd love to know what you guys think about Andy selling <laughs> his Steam Deck. I know. I am sad about it. I just We hate saying. him. We all hate yeah. him here now. Yeah. And I don't want people thinking I'm against Steam Deck because I love it. Like, I think it's brilliant. I, th- I reckon you're going to come back eventually. Steam Deck Steam Deck 2, probably, yeah. Maybe. That's the end of a chapter. It's a sad mm-hmm. day. Now you know yes. how all know how I felt when he sold his PlayStation. I know. Turncoat. He's just there on his own PC master race. <laughs> Let us know what you think in the comments <laughs> Gone back down to the below. Dark side. Yeah. And if you're not there yet, would you consider doing the same thing? Is an eGPU setup interesting to you? Mm. Should Andy make some videos about it? Yes. He's going to anyway, but I mean, should he? And then yeah. it will inspire him some yeah. more. Um, if you're a podcast land, thank you for being here. We love your face. Yes, we do. What should they do? Uh, rate the podcast, first mm. of all, if you're you know listening with your ears. Uh, but if you're listening with your eyeballs, yes. then you should leave a comment and yeah. Uh, yeah. like the video. Yes. And uh, become a member as yes. well. Yes. Where you can talk to me and AJ and our lovely Discord members over in our private Discord. It's a beautiful and place. Yeah. Beautiful people. Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. And if you're not already, subscribe to the channel. Yes. We want to keep this little community growing. Yeah where you can join us on our weird yes. journey through gaming once yes. a week and you can talk to us everywhere everywhere we're there so, but probably. i'm not i'm not doing tech support for eGPUs now sorry you you were tech support for alix <laughs> for a long time was, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> and before you leave, consider watching another video from us. They'll be smashed between our faces. We're a lovely bunch. Oh, and we oh, love the video you being here. that you want to see yeah. is Fix Your Ally X for $2 because wow. this is integral to the whole playing it docked thing. I was meant to bring this up. Oh, okay. And plug it, but this video is really important yes. right at the end when no one's yes. watching. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, till then. Bye.